Welcome mortals to the channel where we seek far and wide to find the best supplements out there to make us the humanoids that we want to become, conquering every gym that we walk into. Yes, if you haven't already joined this channel, well, go ahead, subscribe, like it. If you don't like it, try again. Maybe you'll like it then. Anyways, we are going to be trying what you humans call protein powders. So I just, in my world, eat air, I get strong, and hell yeah, I'm big. But I know you humans gotta eat this stuff called protein. So today we're gonna try some of that for you today. So as you saw from the title of the video, we are trying Eno Supps Clean Vegan Protein Powder. I have tried this brand four years ago when they had this like French toast flavor and they've come out with many other flavors since then and so I'm pretty stoked that I got my grimy little hands on them. So we have today to try fruity cereal, lemon sugar cookie, which sounds pretty bomb because I do like lemons, I just eat them plain usually. And not pictured above, but birthday cake. Always love me a good birthday cake because who doesn't like a good birthday slaughter? Anyways, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started mixing these each with some H2O in a glass jar so that you can see the contents themselves. And then we will taste test them and talk about the breakdowns that they have. So we're gonna be starting off with the fruity cereal flavor. And per serving one scoop, 32 grams, it is 120 calories, two grams of fat, five grams of carbs, and 24 grams of protein. And I like the look of it already. I mean, it's a pea protein. I don't see necessarily brown rice protein in it, but it's got natural flavor, calcium, monk fruit extract, modified stevia, and then all this organic powders in it, greens blend, wheatgrass blend, kale powder, spirulina. So this is already quite an impressive all around protein powder that has a bunch of added like just nutrients, total amino acid profile as well. So pretty stoked and digestive enzymes. So that's always a plus. So I mixed it right here with some agua. It's quite foamy, but when I opened it up, it did smell like a fruity cereal. It reminded me of Fruit Loops when I opened it up. Yeah, it smells so much like Fruit Loops. That is crazy. Mmm. Okay. Wow. Wait. Mmm. Mmm. You get a punch of like freaking cereal milk straight from like a Fruit Loop box, but there's a very minimal aftertaste. Almost something peppery. And I'm crazy, or there's something a little peppery in it. I don't know if they had put like black pepper in it for absorption or anything. I must be going nuts, but I don't see anything black peppery in it. So it could just be me. But also I think if you mix this with anything else, whether it's your morning oatmeal, pre-workout meal of cream of rice, or just have it in a milkshake, this is gonna taste quite delicious. Like the flavor holds up really well on its own. So I'm pretty, pretty pleased with this. So I'm gonna finish this up, clean the jar, and then we'll try the next flavor. Next, we're trying the lemon cookie in which one serving is 34 grams and that has 150 calories, three grams of fat, two grams of carbs, and 24 grams of protein and all the other same ingredients in it. Same color as the last one, but obviously it's lemon. When I popped it open, I didn't really take a whiff to see if it tasted or smelled like lemon. Super foamy when you mix it just with water, so just a fair warning. Smells like a lemon cookie. Whoa, you get an ultimate hit of lemon cookie. That's impressive. Wow, that surprisingly tastes good. It's strong at, at first and then it kind of goes away a little quickly. I mean, this is, this is a protein powder without like real sugars and stuff. So of course it's not gonna taste exactly like if you had a milkshake of a lemon cookie but this is pretty impressive of how good of a flavor this is. I'm interested to try it in my morning oatmeal just because I usually put like a piece of chocolate in my morning oats. So, I mean, lemon chocolate, that could go together, I don't know. But alone with just water, it's so smooth and it tastes really good. I'm quite impressed with this flavor. Not everyone may be a fan of this, but if you like lemon bars, lemon cookies, those kind of flavors, you might like this. All right guys, so my overall thoughts on the Enosubs protein powders. 
Hold up. You thought I almost forgot about it. I did not. Don't worry. We've got the birthday cake right here. We're still gonna try the birthday cake. So yeah, one scoop of this bad boy is 35 grams, and in that we've got 150 calories, three grams of fat, two grams of carbs, and 24 grams of protein. And of course, I've got it mixed up right here. Sorry to mess with y'all, I just had to. So, I'm excited to try this one as well. Once again, it's super foamy. Let me, let me let it settle a little bit. All right, this is ridiculous. It is like a latte, the amount of foam, or a cappuccino actually, the amount of foam that has built up on this. But it smells birthday cakey. There's different, there's similar tones to the other two proteins because I noticed the fruity cereal had this lemon tone to it and then of course there was the lemon cookie. This also has a slight lemon tone to it. I don't know why, but we're gonna taste test it. Hmm, this tastes like cake, but not necessarily birthday cake. I don't know how to describe it. It almost reminds me maybe like a, just a white angel food cake or something. Kind of too simple. I don't know what to expect when I'm thinking of birthday cake. I don't know, like sprinkles and a bit more of a sugary taste to it, but it kind of tastes like an under sugared cake to me. A little disappointing. I mean, I feel like we've tried birthday cake on this channel before and they were possibly better, but I can't remember. I know Live Body has some different cake flavors, whether it was like vanilla cake or chocolate cake. Those are really, really good. But this one, ugh, I'm kind of disappointed in it, you guys. Ugh, I hate that feeling. It's not awful, but it's not great. So I'm gonna finish this up, clean up my mess that's in front of me, and then we're gonna finish up this review. Gosh. I am so full on protein now. That was, that was a lot. <laughs> the foam really added to the bulk that's in my stomach right now. So hopefully it'll digest easily. But anyways, we gotta wrap up this video for you guys so you can go to the gym and get your gains on as well. But anyways, my final thoughts on the Eno Sups Vegan Protein Powders. I will say my favorite was probably the fruity cereal. Second place will go to the lemon cookie, third place to the birthday cake. That fruity cereal, I'll give it like a 9.5. Yeah, 9.3, let's, yeah, 9.3. It's not perfect because I don't know what was up with that slight peppery taste to it, but it was very, very good. Lemon, I wanna give this like an 8.5, very good. However, I know many people might not necessarily gear towards this flavor. However, I will say it tastes like a lemon cookie or a lemon shortbread. So if you like that kind of flavor and you think you would enjoy it in a vegan protein powder, you might wanna go check this out. And then the birthday cake, mm, I don't know. Let me just say, I, I'm not gonna recommend it to you guys. It's not great. They could have done a lot better with the flavor and it's a little disappointing, but it's not bad enough that I gotta like throw it away or try to return it or something of the sort. Just don't get it. Anyways guys, I hope this review was helpful for you guys. I'll link down their website for you. I wish I had like a coupon code or something for them, but I just <laughs> got it full price. So unfortunately it's kind of hard. You, you might be able to dig up like a 10% or 15% coupon code off their website or off another website. I'm not sure. However, it's out there if you guys wanna try the proteins yourselves. Otherwise, my favorite protein powders are always linked in the description box below for you to check out. It's my birthday coming up, so wish me a happy birthday down in those comments. Anyways, you guys go get those gains and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.